Cruella de Vil is a fictional character which first featured in British author Dodie Smith's 1956 novel, The Hundred and One Dalmatians. She is a pampered and glamorous heiress and a fashion designer. In most of her appearances, she's seen kidnapping Dalmatian puppies for their soft white fur. In the live action film, it was revealed that she chooses puppies because their fur is softer as compared to grown-up Dalmatians and the soft fur is more attractive and wanted by the experts in the fashion industry. This character had become a pop culture icon of its time, and also a very popular symbol of greed, vanity, and evil. Interestingly, her name is literally Cruel Devil, which already indicates towards the tone of this character. Sweet puppy. So, welcome back to Evo Chronicles, where we showcase the evolution of movies, video games, and famous characters. And today's video is focused on the evolution of the very famous character, Cruella de Vil. This character first appeared in the novel The Hundred and One Dalmatians, authored by a British writer, Dodie Smith, in the year 1956. In this original story, Cruella is depicted as a very pampered and charming London heiress. She knows the owner of Dalmatian puppies from school, but it is mentioned that both of them were not friends. She appears to be friendly with Mrs. Dearly, the owner, in the beginning, before Cruella steals her puppies. Cruella wanted to make enchanting fur coats that no one had ever thought of. The kidnapped dogs managed to escape and destroy her furs and coats, making her financially weak and unstable. Then came the sequel of this novel, The Starlight Barking, in the year 1967. In this novel, Cruella and her husband return to England and start a business selling metallic plastics. She has lost her obsession with fur and replaced that with coats, sheets, and cloaks. This novel seems to be based on an entirely different plot as compared with the original one. Apart from literature, she made her debut on television with Disney's animated version of Cruella. She first appeared in the 1961's 101 Dalmatians, in which she was voiced by Betty Lou Gerson. The character in this animated film was shown as a crazy maniac, and her cat and husband had been omitted from the Disney film. Also, she is shown to be rich, spoiled, and arrogant. Interestingly, this film also has a song, especially dedicated to her, written by Mel Levin. Her name has been used as the title of the song. 101 Dalmatians The Series is an American animated television series that aired in the year 1997. Again, she is the main antagonist of this series. The character is voiced by April Winchell in the majority of the episodes. Her villainous plot in this series was to steal the Deerlease farm from them, using the puppies as ransom. Cruella also appeared in a comedy animated film, 101 Dalmatians 2, Patch's London Adventure in 2003, once again as the main antagonist. In this film, she's voiced by Suzanne Blakesley. The plot of this film picks up from 1961's 101 Dalmatians. It establishes that Cruella was arrested and exposed as the mastermind behind kidnapping puppies. What interestingly happens in this film is that Cruella takes the help of a painter to cure her of her obsession with furs, but ends up failing and demanding him to paint using puppy skins. She also makes an appearance in the series 101 Dalmatian Street 2019, and the voiceover artist was Michelle Gomez. <laughs> this series is based on the first novel and debut novel of Cruella, The 101 Dalmatians, released in 1956. The plot of the series shows that Cruella's great-nephew plans to capture the family of Doug and Delilah, but he's unaware of her intentions that she wants to kill the Dalmatian family to make the fur coat. Interestingly, in this adaptation, she is shown aging and is in her late 80s or early 90s. She's lost hair, but not her mobility or vanity. Cruella has also played small roles in Disney's House of Mouse, which featured a running gag in which she inspects dogs from various other Disney films. This was released in the year 2001, and she was voiced by Suzanne Blakesley. Also, she played a role in Mickey's House of Villains as a villain who helps Jafar take control of the House of Mouse for Halloween night. This was released in the year 2002. Apart from animated television shows, Cruella has also appeared in live-action movies. In 101 Dalmatians, 1996, Glenn Close portrays Cruella de Vil. The film again reflects Cruella as vindictive, snobbish, and a glamorous magnate of a fashion house. The plot remained almost the same of her greed of making fur coats out of the skin of puppies. This movie increased the physical comedy of the Disney animated film. Also, Glenn's performance was appreciated, and her sex appeal as Cruella was also credited. 
The next movie she appeared in was 102 Dalmatians. It's the sequel of the 1996 movie, which was released in the year 2000. In this movie, she's shown under the effect of Dr. Pavlov's hypnotherapy. She's cured of her fur addiction and also released from the prison. The character is reformed, and she's seen becoming completely devoted to saving animals. Shockingly, she's seen giving up on wearing fur clothes, long nails, extravagant hairstyles, and smoking. Cruella also appears in the fourth and the fifth seasons of the television series Once Upon a Time. It was released in the year 2011. She is portrayed as an adult by Victoria Smurfett and as a kid by Millie Wilkinson. She is seen as a witch who possesses the magical power to control animals. This character appears in the 2015 Disney original movie Descendants. The role is played by Wendy Robinson. In this movie, Cruella has been sent to exile, where she had to live for 20 years. She also has a son, and she's seen abusing him, controlling him, and treating him like a servant. Lastly, she appeared recently in Cruella 2021, where she played the main character, and it is an American crime comedy movie based on Smith's novel, The 101 Dalmatians. This movie is based on the backstory of Cruella de Vil, and it was announced in 2011. She is shown as a picky, moody, and arrogant teenager who does not listen to anyone. The role is played by Emma Stone. In the movie, she dreams to become a fashion designer, but ends up becoming a petty thief. But when she meets the character Baroness Von Hellman, then she gets on the path to becoming the evil Cruella de Vil. <laughs> the twists and turns in the movie are well-crafted. The movie was released in May 2021. This character of Cruella de Vil became so significant that it also became part of the popular culture, and various songs were written using her name. So, that's all for today's video. Feel free to tell in the comments section below what you think about the video and Cruella's evil and vindictive nature that she's seen portraying in almost each of her movies and television series. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evo Chronicles, and hit that notification bell so you can always be notified by our regular uploads.